are live. So hello, everyone. <laughs> we are so excited today to welcome you to this expert interview. I am super excited to share with you Nicole Sherry Odin of Nicole Sherry Odin Law, because as a lawyer, she has some insights for those of us <laughs> that are online business owners into, hey, we need to actually do legal stuff in our business get out. Who thought that? Not most of us. I have personally seen examples of people doing work without contracts in place and then wondering, how do I get paid? There's no agreements. How do we get this person to work differently? And then some of us have created intellectual property that we are truly just giving away with no protections on it whatsoever. So today we are excited that she is going to share some knowledge with each of us on how we can protect ourselves and our business, how we can protect our businesses, and even more. So we're going to get started, though, with some fun this or that questions. And so beach or mountains? Oh, beach. Ah, cookies <laughs> or cake? Oh, cake. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of hesitating there, right? <laughs> how about this one? Sunrises or sunsets? I'm a sunrise girl. So. Okay. And then the last one, iced tea or lemonade? Lemonade. I hate iced tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I love that. I think it's just fascinating all of the different ways that we, you know, because I would probably go with a both on that one, but if I had <laughs> to choose, it would probably be iced tea over lemonade. So go figure. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks so much, Sherry. So why don't we just get started? And if you can just tell us a bit about you and how did you wind up pursuing this and sharing about online businesses and legal matters. <laughs> yeah. So hi, I'm Nicole Shree Odin. I am a licensed attorney here in the state of California. I will be licensed 10 years this year, uh, which is kind of crazy to think I've been doing it that long. Um, I started in family law and I still practice family law. There is a, a part of my practice where I focus on settlement minded family law matters. Um, and uh oh, sorry, no worries. <laughs> Something just happened there. <laughs> Um, and I, uh, went out on my own uh, almost five years ago and kind of stumbled into the online space. It was after I had my daughter, um, and I was kind of going through my own like personal growth journey and was connecting with other female business owners online. Um, and when they find out I was an attorney, they would start kind of inboxing me their questions, like about looking at contracts and certain provisions. And, you know, they had somebody, you know, purchase their course and then copy their course and turn around and try and sell it. And so all sorts of questions. And I was kind of like, well, why don't you just talk with an attorney? Like, it seems so simple to me as an attorney, I guess. Um, and like nine times out of 10, the response was, I don't really want to chat with an attorney, A, because it's too expensive, B, because it's so overwhelming. Wow or intimidating um and see can you just answer this question i just have this one this one question <laughs> um and so it was kind of like that entrepreneurial light bulb for me came on where it was like there is this gap because small business attorneys i mean there's so many of them out there but they focus on brick and mortar the online space is nuanced and it, there are different considerations and different things to consider and so I kind of ended up adding online business law to my practice, focusing specifically on um, the educational piece, contracts and policies, and I've added trademarks as well um, recently, which has been fun. And so really focusing on protecting people's businesses, their income, their brand um, as a small online business owner. That That is kind of my niche. I work primarily with moms, um, millennials in the online space who are scaling, they, they don't have a ton of employees, they really want to build like a lifestyle business, something that for them, you know, could be six figures and up. But it's something that they do want to protect. So mm -hmm. awesome. I absolutely love that. And those that know my, my secret um, one day passion goal was to become an attorney. So I get to now just live vicariously through. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right. So Nicole, why should we pay attention, though, to legal matters with our online businesses? Yeah, I think in today's day and age, you know, opening a business is so easy in the online space. You can buy a domain, you can put up a website and you just start advertising your services, which is great. I think that that barrier to entry being um, not taken down, but minimized is is a wonderful thing, especially as women business owners. But uh, with that comes the fact that so many people are starting businesses without the knowledge and the information that they need in place to make sure that they're protecting themselves. 
Um, and it could be something as simple as just having a written contract. I mean, so many people hear the word contract and cringe and just think, I, I don't want to go down that road. It seems too legally, it'll scare my clients off. Um, but I always challenge business owners to reframe their thinking, to really look at legal as self-care for your business. I mean, when you hear the word boundaries, we hear that so much in the personal development space, creating boundaries to, to protect you know, your um, well-being. Well, it's the same thing for your business. You really are creating those boundaries and those expectations, which is actually almost like a gift to your clients and your customers. Because if they have expectations and they know what to expect from the relationship, um, you're in such a better place and your clients appreciate that because they know uh, if I send an email at midnight on a Saturday, I'm not getting a response till Monday morning after you know 9 a.m. or whatever it is. So really just looking at legal as a way to protect your boundaries, to protect your income, to protect your business is, is essential. I love that. Practice self-care for your business. <laughs> I mean, we talk so much about self-care and so many other, you know, obviously more personal matters. And uh, we had a massage or we went to the spa or, you know, something of that sort. But practicing self-care and thinking of legal in that way is that it's self-care for your business. Mm -hmm. All right. That right there is the hashtag, the T-shirt, the whole thing. <laughs> so, so when we think about that and, and just digging a little deeper, are there some just contract basics that we should be aware of, you know, and I, you know, probably law school 101 that's like what four parts to a contract or something <laughs> so what kind of basics should we be aware of when it comes to contracts 